4 CG, man, you know how the fuck we rockin', man. Four corner glow game, man. You know how the fuck I'm bubbling, man. You know I'm coming, man. Hey, ain't no way it's one of me, ten of you. She don't get the baby. And I got all my teeth and all my J still. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Hey, yo, hey, look, I, hey, look, I ain't gonna lie. Look, I ever seen my ops not running out the back door. I came through the front door. I'm leaving through the front door. <laughs> A motherfucker smoked my brother. That shit I ain't gonna never die. It'll never stop. Get your bitch ass on, nigga. Fuck out of here. You ain't, you ain't shoot nobody. Motherfucker smoked your brother. All right, y'all, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Y'all just seen the video footage, man. So Swag De Niro and Little Reese, man, are going to have this never-ending beef, y'all. So basically, Swag De Niro, as you just saw in the beginning, said, you know, y'all wonder why I don't come out the front door. We was outside that till 8 a.m. R.P. Jojo, you thought you got it. So Swag De Niro's, in my mind, he's implying because he's in Houston, Texas, tagging Lil Reese that he was outside the front door and, you know, this and that. And Lil Reese's response was saying, yeah, I walk through the front door all the time. This and that, you know, something about, well, I mean, basically he's like a legend that the, the BDs killed Swag De Niro's brother, Lil Jojo. And like I said, this, this, never ending beef and war will go on forever like this is stuff that like people's family members have died over the years and years and time to time like that that argument that beef will never be settled like and a lot of people on reddit in the comment section just in general keep saying these are grown men this and that but when you have this much bloodshed on both sides especially when it gets personal to people's relatives there's certain things that these people will never move on or forgive or forget. So, like I said, you man, Lil Reese and Swag De Niro going back and forth, you know, kind of on Instagram. I don't want to say even subliminally because Swag De Niro tagged Lil Reese and Lil Reese responded to Swag De Niro but didn't tag him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not surprised by any of this. And I bet over time, time every couple of years, every couple of months, they be getting into it on social media. Shows old tweets or old this and that, but at the end of the day, they've lost blood on both sides, and, and that will never change the, the stipulations and facts of what's going on in Chicago. And um, I think they both need to move different, especially if they're gonna be out there like that. And Little Reese being in Chicago a lot, so I can nearly stay in Chicago if I'm correct, and you know. People bump into each other, just like they, just like Swag Nero's implying that he ran into Lil Reese and yada yada, this and that. So, like I said, man, we got to keep our eyes out. A lot of people have been dying, regardless, in Chicago over the past months and this summer, regardless. So it's always a hot summer in Chicago, man. It always is. So, y'all, let me know in the comment section what y'all think, man. Like, comment, subscribe. We got more content coming soon. We're gonna keep you guys up to date with this, man. I'll be honest with you. I feel like Lil Reese and Swag Nero are definitely going to keep going in on it on Instagram. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole situation. Like I said, for those, keep in mind, obviously, Lil Jojo and Swag Nero got a close relationship. That's his brother. So, you know, and Lil Reese, you know, he he always been going through shit with people wanting all these, these women with these crazy allegations and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Lil Reese always in the media for something, but... With this going on, this this beef is old and it's never going to change, man. So y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe.